Hi, uh, welcome to this webinar on the Millennial Public Policy Fellowship at New America. And uh, this webinar is designed to provide some information about a new fellowship opportunity at New America that is going to provide support to bring 10 young adults uh, to work at our organization here in Washington, DC. And uh, I'm Reed Kramer. Uh, I'm directing the effort. Um, I'm here with my colleague. I'm Sabia Prescott with the Education Policy Program here at New America. And my other colleagues? I'm Shadé Bruce with Asset Building. I'm Cheyenne Pulimaju with Political Reform. Great. And we're basically going to answer four main questions about the fellowship. And hopefully, we'll provide enough information uh, for, for you uh, or to share with others um, uh, who are interested in this opportunity. And those questions are, what is the Millennial Public Policy Fellowship? Uh, what's the overriding idea behind the effort? What kind of organization is New America? And then how can people apply? All right, so specifically, what does the program offer? Very specifically, um, the program offers funding. It offers a community and a platform. Um, like Reed said, thanks to the support of the City Foundation, um, we'll provide each of the 10 selected fellows with salary and access to our employee benefits here at New America um, to ensure that they can fully engage um, in the larger New America community and pursue their projects while living here in Washington, D.C. New America is a dynamic organization focused on public policy and a constructive policy debate. A lot of great work is going on here that the fellows can learn from and they'll work together as a cohort um, to learn together. New America offers our staff support and leverage for joining public conversation, including opportunities to attend our events here in the DC space, and also to write and potentially publish on their work. We think this is a good combination for a great opportunity. If you're interested in working in a dynamic organization engaged in contemporary public policy discussions impacting millennials and rising generations, you should apply. Great, yeah, we'd love to see uh, your applications and, and really to, to emphasize some of the overarching ideas behind the effort, um, it's to create an opportunity to get people who wouldn't otherwise be able to kind of come to an organization like this focused on policy. Um, we want to create a dynamic experience where people can learn from each other, um, add value to public policy research, um, and develop their own sense of how they can contribute to uh, constructive public policy uh, discussions. And this might lead to someone to pursue uh, some of this uh, work in the future, maybe a career, uh, maybe additional uh, educational opportunities that re are related to, to, to public policy. Uh, and another theme is really to consider some of the unique generational issues that um, are faced by millennials and their younger siblings. There's a lot of different work going on at New America. You'll see the range of policy programs that are um, uh, uh, participating. Um, and we want to look at uh, that work um, and how they might interact uh, together um, to create a set of ideas that can you know, be constructive for uh, the rising uh, generation. Um, and I guess I wanted to say a little bit about New America as an organization. Um, you certainly can uh, look at the website and um, see the kind of work that we produce. Uh, you can read our full mission statement and, and, and dig into some of the material, the, the, the papers, the events, uh, the convenings that we've uh, been a part of. Uh, but we're basically, traditionally we'd be called a think tank. We'd be called a think tank. Um, we also call ourselves a civic enterprise um, because collectively we're committed to uh, renewing American politics, prosperity, and purpose in this kind of unique digital age. Um, our aspirations are to generate big ideas, uh, bridge the gap between technology and policy, and also curate a, a public discussion that we think can be really uh, constructive and is important. So, Sometimes we look like a research institute. Other times we look like a technology laboratory. Uh, we're certainly a, a media platform. Um, uh, and some have called us a venture capital fund for policy ideas. We, we have a number of fellows programs. And this is the, the latest one that's designed to, to focus on, on kind of young adults and people just starting uh, their career. Uh, we, we dig into policy details, but we also want to get ideas that might work at scale that can be transformative in, in important ways and meet the challenges of, of our time. Uh, so we think this is an interesting organization. Um, we think this program could make it even more so. Um, what other uh, 
ideas about the organization. Any other thing you want to add about New America? I think one important thing to know about New America is that it's a place for opportunity, um, which not everywhere is in DC. Mm -hmm. And our, uh, New America is a really great place for people to come who have ideas or who are looking to explore ideas further and um, to have a platform to dive into those and, and really do concentrated work in that area and make a difference, I think, in those areas. So if you're looking to explore a specific idea or want to learn more about other ideas that we do or other ideas that could complement the work that we do already, this is a great opportunity. What else can we say about the organization? Well, building on what Sabia said, um, I feel like New America is full of people who generally, genuinely care about your professional and personal well-being. So they want to see you succeed. And if you ever reach out to someone to say, like, I need help with this research project, or you know, like, I'm having trouble balancing my my work priorities, like, people want to help, um, which isn't something that you can say of all work environments. Um, I think another thing that's unique to New America is probably the sort of environment that we have around writing and how much opportunity people, including junior staff, have to write. We have our weekly newsletter, which is called the New America Weekly, but we also do um, publish in a variety of outlets. And here, this is a place where if you have an idea, and you want to write that, you can you know, reach out to people and people will help you um, with that and help you place it and nobody's gonna tell you no, you can't write because you know, you're know, you junior staff or you, you don't have the, the perfect skills to, to write that piece. People will work with you and make sure that you, know, you, can, you can write something that you're proud of. Yeah. I'll start off with the deadline, which is April 3rd, April 2017. 3rd. Yes. Um, and next, we'll answer a few frequently asked questions. But first, I will note that um, you can send any questions about the application process itself before April 3rd to mppfellowship at newamerica.org. And the core application um, involves composing a personal statement as well as a statement of policy interest to give us, um, to give you an opportunity to um, describe to us what your policy interests are and what you would like to work on here at New America and to give us an opportunity to get to know you better through your policy interests and your personal involvement um, in the policy space and in whichever space you're interested in as a, um, as a program here at New America. So yeah, we can run through some frequently asked questions now. Um, and uh, a lot of the resources are on the website. Um, if you don't get your questions answered, please let us know. We'll get back to you. I do want to just emphasize three uh, important things about the Millennial Public Policy Fellowship. Um, selected candidates must be 24 years old uh, or under at the start of the program. And that starts in, in August. So the cutoff date. Um, is on the um, is on the website um, and the date is firm, so we won't be able to take people that are uh, older. Um, the second thing, what are we looking for in, a, in an applicant? And again, there's more information on the website, but in two sentences, I'll say that we're looking to identify and support promising young adults interested in deepening their engagement in public policy. Uh, successful candidates will show themselves to be creative thinkers who are committed to constructive policy reform and positive social change. Um, and then a, another additional set of uh, details, fellows must live in DC through the duration of the fellowship. Uh, the program starts August 28th, 2017 here in DC and will end on June 30th, 2018. Um, another question that we have is what are some tips for crafting a good application and what are some of the qualities that we're searching for um, in our applicants? And the book of the application is made up of a statement of policy interests and a personal statement. So these two components are prop definitely the most important ones. Uh, the statement of policy interest is your opportunity to tell us about the policy issues that not only interest you the most, but that you believe you have the ability to impact. The personal statement is, on the other hand, an opportunity for you to tell us your story and how you've gotten to where you are today. So we don't want a resume, we want your story. You have to identify which policy program you're applying for, for a fellowship, and the answer is really, really, really no. 
we're going to look at your application. You're selecting some areas of interest, um, and you're going to write about those, um, your, your interests. And then we will um, kind of assign your application to one of the, the policy programs, and they'll take a closer look um, at the application. So not sure if that actually was a clarifying answer, but the point is you don't have to select a specific program when you're applying, but you do have to identify some of your issue areas of, of, of interest. So those are some of the frequently asked questions. Please check back with the, um, check into the website. A lot of the answers are there. There's room to ask more questions um, if they arise as you're preparing your applications. And um, we where look can, forward to hearing from you. Where can people send questions? There is uh, an email link on the website, mppfellowship at newamerica.org and we will promptly get back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs>